Hello and welcome. Let's discuss this question that came in the year 2015 and is related to the topic of climatology. The question is, in the South Atlantic and Southeastern Pacific regions, in tropical latitudes, cyclone does not originate. What is the reason? Now to understand this question, let's look into the concept of ITCZ sea surface temperature, Coriolis force as far as South Atlantic oceans are concerned. First of all, if we look into the tropical latitudes, this is the South Atlantic Ocean in the tropical latitude. This is Southeastern Pacific Ocean, Southeastern Pacific Ocean in the tropical latitude. Now, what is ITCZ? ITCZ is basically intertropical convergence zone, convergence of trade winds in tropical belt leads to ascending air. That is, if two air, two trade winds converge, they ascend they move upward in the atmosphere. Thus, here low pressure zone will be created. Near the convergence in the surface, low pressure zone will be created. Also, this ITCZ shifts due to apparent movement of the sun. That is, if sun is above equator, ITCZ will be around the equator. But when sun moves northward towards the tropic of Cancer, this IT season, CZ will move northward. So this will be the direction of IT season. They move up to the latitude of 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree north. In case of India, they move above Himalayas or north of Himalayas. In case of India, ITCZ prior to monsoon or during summer, they move north of Himalayas, thus giving pace for southwest monsoon to enter India. Now, what happens if this ITCZ is moving northward, then this southeast trade wind will move northward as well. And as they cross 0 degree or equator, because of Coriolis force, they will move towards its right. That's why the southeast trade winds, they move from west to east, from southwest to east, and the monsoon in India becomes southwest monsoon. Southwest monsoon because of the effect of Coriolis force. Now, as far as cyclones are concerned in, in this latitude, there are absence of there are absence of ITCZ south of equator. Usually, the ITCZ is between the equator and the Tropic of Cancer. That is from 0 degree to 30 degree north. It does not move beyond 0 degree in usual circumstances. So, absence of ITCZ south of equator. Now, because of this, why this is happening? Because the vorticity that is rotation of wind is absent. Now, rotation of wind is absent because there is high vertical wind shear 
हाई वर्टिकल विंड शेयर इन सदर्न एमोस्फियर नाउ व्हाट इज वर्टिकल विंड शेयर दैट इज व्हेन देयर इज डिफरेंस इन ऑल्टीट्यूड द स्पीड और द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द विंड इट चेंजेस रैपिडली सो इट इज वेरी स्ट्रांग इन इट इज वेरी स्ट्रांग इन सदर्न हेमिस्फीयर बिकॉज ऑफ व्हिच देयर इज एब्सेंस ऑफ आईटीसीज इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फीयर and because of this there is absence of vorticity now we have seen in the tropical cyclone case that there is low pressure area in the center and surrounding high pressure area in the surroundings now air moves from high pressure to low pressure and because of coriolis force it moves in the rightward direction in northern hemisphere and leftward direction in southern hemisphere so this is creating vorticity whereas in southern hemisphere there is no vorticity because of this there is lack of cyclone or there is absence of cyclone in south atlantic and south eastern pacific regions so the prime reason is intertropical convergence zone seldom occurs also the sea surface temperatures are low the requirement of sea surface temperature is around 27 degree celsius in the surface so that the low pressure can be created if the sea surface temperature is around uh, 27 degree low pressure system will be created but it is absent uh, the sea surface temperatures are comparatively low that is around 25 degree celsius 24 25 degree celsius in southern hemisphere but this is not the only reason the prime reason is intertropical convergence zone seldom occurs because of which there is lack of vorticity and because of which there is absence of tropical cyclones in southern hemisphere thank you